Banyak warga yang tinggal di permukiman di Rockford, Illinois ini mungkin tidak tahu masa depan penerbangan antariksa berawak sedang dibangun di wilayah mereka. You wouldn't say that Rockford is one of the uh, key uh, cities for space, you know, space uh, and defense, and especially Ingersoll. So many people might not know. Di balik tembok perusahaan Ingersoll Machine Tools sedang berlangsung pekerjaan untuk membuat komponen penting bagi upaya NASA mengirim astronot kembali ke bulan dan akhirnya ke Mars. So this is the barrel section of Orion. So it's the central section of the pressure vessel. It's where the astronauts will basically live and work and the only place they'll have to go while they're on this mission. Barrel adalah salah satu dari empat komponen yang diproduksi Ingersoll untuk kapsul antariksa Orion dalam program Artemis. The parts for the spacecraft they come from all over the country. We employ thousands of people at over 900 suppliers just like Ingersoll here across the country. We also have uh, 10 European countries that participate under the umbrella of the European Space Agency. Komponen buatan Ingersoll adalah bagian dari Artemis II, misi yang akan membawa hingga 4 astronot sekitar 64.000 km ke bulan yang direncanakan tahun 2024. Misi berawak terakhir NASA ke bulan saat era Apollo tahun 60-an dan 70-an terjadi sebelum CIO Ingersoll lahir. Tapi ini membuat dampak besar pada keluarganya dan membawanya pindah dari tempat kelahirannya Italia ke Amerika. It was during my childhood a big topic to discuss, and for me it made the difference to be in that nation and be now a citizen of that nation and participate to a program that will bring back people to the moon. Komponen buatan Ingersoll akhirnya dikirim ke Florida, tempat sejumlah bagian kapsul Orion dirakit di Star Center baru Lockheed Martin di Titusville, tidak jauh dari Kennedy Space Center. This particular center here was an 18-month, $20 million investment by Lockheed Martin. Kelly DeFacio mengawasi perakitan di Star Center. We do the uh, subassemblies here. Well, this is basically the uh, the nervous system, so to speak, exactly. of the uh, capsule, exactly. right? Exactly. So you wouldn't see any of this. It's all within or internal into the, the structure, you know, mounted into the structure of the vehicle. Meski kegiatan di Star Center adalah mempersiapkan Artemis II, tapi pekerjaan bagi misi antariksa masa depan sudah berlangsung. Artemis III, hardware will start build up here in the next few weeks. In addition to the the cables that you saw feeding into Artemis II, we also have the side hatch here and we're applying the TPS and that side hatch is for Artemis II as well. So that launch is in uh, 2024. Misi Artemis diwarnai penundaan dan pembengkakan biaya. NASA memperkirakan saat Artemis II mengorbit bulan tahun 2024, biaya kapsul Orion akan mencapai 13 miliar dolar. Total biaya seluruh program Artemis diperkirakan mencapai 93 miliar dolar saat astronot menginjakkan kaki di bulan tahun 2025. Dari Arlington, Virginia, saya Helmi Yohanes dan tim VOA.